Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. Make sure you guys check out the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also, too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com. Free $25 in crypto.com with a CRO coin. We each get free $25 when you sign up. All those links are in the description of the video. Let's get going about what this is. So if you've seen my couple videos back, Bizarre stuff with naval Navy submarines and then the head guy of NASA says aliens and UFOs are real and I was scrolling through that TikTok or actually no this wasn't on TikTok this was a guy who did a documentary with Bob Lazar and I was just scrolling on the Instagram one night and then boom saw this guy sharing this article and I'm like this is unbelievable uh, there's obviously something going on, and uh, not everybody knows about it, or the stuff like is talked about, and then nobody even, you know, wants to listen about it, or just, you know, I don't know. This is just, this is crazy. So the title says, UFOs buzzing U.S. warships may be aliens, top spy chief. What? There's definitely been a lot of stuff released uh, in the last two years that most people aren't aware of. I mean, the Pentagon is admitted to stuff that they have crap not from this planet. I was talking to a gentleman about the UAP report and he contends the Pentagon has alien bodies and crafts. Does DOD have these things and if so, where? The UAP uh, task force is really designed to uh, to take a look at these uh, unexplained aerial phenomena, try to help us uh, uh, get a better understanding of them. Again, I'm not going to get ahead of the uh, of the report that uh, the DNI will submit that we are helping, obviously, and uh, providing I input to. Um, and uh, I think I'll just I'll just leave it at that, Jeff. I know there are alien craft here from another planet. I know it was not made on Earth. I know it was made with materials that we cannot fabricate, we cannot duplicate, and we've never been able to. I also know they've examined or had bodies of alien creatures somewhere. I know that stuff for a fact. And uh, the, you have uh, different plane manufacturers where there's leaked stuff that they have wreckage that could have led uh, accelerating technology. Sounds like science fiction, but you know what? I like, see people need to wake up and uh, drink the coffee, realizing there's something going on. It says here, UFOs buzzing warships are being reported by U.S. pilots could be of alien origin. America's top spy chief has said in a stunning admission. Avril Haines, the director of National De Intelligence, DNI, who oversees all 16 U.S. spy agencies, including the FBI, the CIA, was speaking at the o Our Future in Space event at the Washington Na National Cathedral. Haines was quizzed about UFOs, which have become a serious national security debate in the U.S. after years of being consigned to the dustbin 
a conspiracy theories. This is what I'm saying is, you know, they try to make it seem like it's all make believe, and in reality, they it, something's coming is what I'm what I'm kind of feeling because now we're seeing more stuff. A lot of stuff started happening during World War II, and maybe I should do a whole video about that. But there's some stuff that happened in World War II, uh, and actually the craziest thing they're filming an Indiana Jones movie right now. And stuff that kind of happened in World War II that most people aren't aware of is a tied whole plot story for the new Indiana Jones movie, which I find very interesting. When I found some plot leaks of that movie, I'm like, no way. Now this is really going to... I'm very interested to see how they're going to plan that, that whole thing out. Um, but it gets people maybe realizing some stuff that, that happened in the past. It says, the stunning UAP... Task Force report published by the Pentagon over the summer admitted there has been unexplained encounters between the U.S. military and mystery objects such as the infamous Tic Tac. And while the report was analyzed, 144 sightings did not explicitly spell out the possible alien connection. It did not rule out other either as the mystery mystery continues haynes appeared to crack the door open even further by even further for a possible alien link at the event where she spoke alongside nasa chief bill nelson leading expert professor avid labelle and the world's second richest man jeff bezos they eat a seed it. And it's it's interesting because it's funny is there's this video uh, on Joe, Joe Rogan where Elon Musk was on there and he goes one the, if you go look back some of these ones where he was on there. One he was all oh yeah aliens could be real and then all of a sudden like, the next one he came on there, he's like, Oh no, they're not nope, nope. So it's like he's had they had the door open to him seeing stuff and he's told not to say anything. So he said, I'll just say, you know, like, it's just very interesting how people, you know, they get the privilege to see stuff and then they can't talk about it. And she admitted there remains things about the strange encounters which the intelligence community simply does not understand. Highlighted the need for more investigation. The main issue that Congress and others have been concerned about is the safety of flight concerns and counterintelligence issues the DNI told the form. Always there, there also the question of is there something else that we simply do not understand which might come extraterrestrial, she said. Haynes appeared to hesitate when mentioned the word extraterrestrial but she has became the most senior person in the intelligence committee to hint of an alien link the dni acknowledged there needs to be better report structures put in place of so ufos now more commonly called uaps unidentified aerial phenomena in the intelligence community can properly investigate. U.S. officials are believed to be in the process of setting up permanent office to probe these phenomena. The stunning and unexplained encounters have gone behind blurry photos to highly detailed incidents involving U.S. warships and warplanes being recorded on multiple military-grade instruments. Haynes said we were pretty sure that we're not going to get to the characteristics of every single one of these UAP reports in the various categories that we identified because frankly we aren't able to understand everything about it. A large portion of this is based on the fact that we do not have a con constant way of reporting this information. We need to in integrate a lot of data that we get. She went on, we need to get better at collecting information that is useful to us, different sensors that are available to us. And we need 
to deepen our analyze in the areas and that's something that doesn't surprise you in the way that approach our intelligent work. We also predicted an advanced acceleration in mankind's relationship with space over the next decade. She and the DNI joked she would get fired if she told the form what the coolest thing that the intelligence service are doing in space. Elsewhere at the two hour long event, the DNI warned there could be a colonial conflicts in space between the US, Russia, and China. She said in the US is committed to protecting access to and explore space for a variety of nations. She added, we recognize now important that the, our collective human prosperity, meanwhile, Blue Origin and Amazon boss Bezos laid out the version of mankind's future in space. He shrugged off criticism of his own exploits in orbit, which have been derided as joy rides after he sent Star Trek star William Shatner into space. Bezo sketched out a version where man becomes a true space fairer species, warning if we do not head for the stars, then the Earth will totally strip mine of its resources. He reported about giant solar farms in space that could evolve humanity, energy problems, and mankind space colonies. This is still going. This is like a lot to take in. However, on the alien issue, Bezo expressed doubt that Earth has been visited by extrasolar intelligence. U.S. This is again getting worse. You know, he's... <laughs> once you've seen something, or released info and stuff, they can't say or... Because they can get in trouble. I mean, it's funny, everybody who's doing space projects, they're very careful what they're saying about stuff. U.S. lawmakers commissioned the Pentagon UFO report after a stunning string of leaked videos that show military counters with objects such as the infamous Tic Tac. It's also crazy, too. It's because... Uh, um, one of the members of Blinkit 182, if it wasn't for him and his organization leaking out stuff, there wouldn't be a lot of stuff seen. It's actually not the government showing half this stuff. It's by somebody giving it to somebody else and leaking it, and then the government admitting, yes, it's legit. And it's a, there's a video of like um, triangular shaped craft going over warships, and they're using. Uh, night vision with filming this and it was actually naval uh soldiers leaked that out it wasn't the government showing it it's, it was them actually filming it witnessing it so it makes you really you know when they're seeing all these sightings it makes you wonder what more high res stuff that's not being seen because it'd be hard for a lot of people to grasp that this is going on you know you always got to keep an open mind that's always how i've been with stuff you always got to be open-minded about everything you can't be thinking it's this way or the highway it marked an incredible turnaround after the government dismissed ufos as a conclusion of logic blue book in the 1960s the report admits encounters could be previously unknown aircraft from china russia or even non-government terror group okay but crucially did not rule out extraterrestrials or perhaps even extra dimensional origin for the encounters i mean that's a tip a lot of this stuff too i think could be uh extra dimensional too i think it could relate to a lot of stuff people think i don't even want to get about it but stuff people might think it's something uh but it's not really what it is if that makes sense I saw something too myself when I uh, uh, walking down the beach over the summer and saw three orbs coming down from the sky it kind of were like mid part right off the beach and then like they moved right into the ocean they weren't flares I mean they were moving super fast and then they just died they died and I've seen flares shot off before and it's not the same they were both moving together. 
says the debate, which is decades considered a fringe and damaging topic and now being openly spoke about by very senior figures, including former President Bill Clinton, Barack Obama. It comes as a Pentagon whistleblower, Lou Elizondo, who ran the U.S. previous UFO investigation unit, hinted pilots may have suffered warp time and radiation burns during encounters with phenomena. That makes you, when you see that and they're talking about extra dimensional, it makes you really wonder what's going on. And uh, yeah, I mean, you guys can't be thinking this isn't legit. Uh, uh, it's 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 hard to grasp and hard for people to understand but man it, it, when it's crazy when they wouldn't talk about it and now when they want to talk about it that's why I'm saying something could be coming that's how I feel about stuff but all of a sudden they want to have it be where they're they're saying something but then most people aren't talking about this it's funny I share this on my Instagram I don't really have a lot of people like say anything you know, I saw a lot of, you know uh, thousands of people seen the post that I shared but I didn't see anybody go, whoa, man, Beowulf, what's going on? I think some people just, you know, it's hard for them to grasp. All right, well, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe on existing subscribers. Hit that bell notification. Comment on the bottom. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I'm always open to hear what people have to say. And uh, comment down below what you think about what's going on. Uh, and if you've had any sighting yourself, I've seen... I've seen something twice my whole entire life, and both times, uh, the person was with me the first time when I was a child, I was probably like a kid, uh, there was somebody driving me home, and we both saw something, and the person was like so freaked out what they saw, they told my parents that it was hard for them to even talk about it, that's how crazy what we saw, and it was very wild, uh, it was near, near where I live, and I actually think the Myrtle Beach area has one of the most highest sightings uh, with... UFOs, so it's very interesting with that. Um, also, too, check out the I Am Beowulf merch at BeowulfNation.com, the Amazon store, Amazon.com, slash shop, slash I Am Beowulf. Also, too, the free $25 and Crypto.com link for all those are in the description. Be driven to win. Remember, every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.